Spaghetti oh. J. What is a great name? Sounds like a badass cowboy. That's a funny name. That there's Spaghetti oh, Jake. It's old Spaghetti Jake. Yeah, he's hey. from the Big Thunder Mountain Ridge. This here's the wild and dry. So, oh. first off, thanks to Eric for the mentioning my so all much the on the time. podcast. What? Hang on, start over. I said thanks to Eric first oh. off for mentioning Mark Marin on the podcast so much. Did I mention Because I watched Thinky Pain and got really into his podcast after all that. So. His podcast is, uh, I think he's a great interviewer when he gets the right kind of guests yeah. that are like on his level. I think he's a really fun interviewer. He gets a lot of cool stories. I just listened to the one, it's an older one, where he interviews Lewis Black. Ooh. And like, they don't talk about comedy almost at all. Really? Yeah. Did you know Lewis Black is a uh, like theater playwright? Because that's pretty much what the whole yeah, po podcast yeah. was about. It was super interesting. Huh. I had no idea. I had no clue. That's awesome. So, yeah, I really liked uh, one I heard of his where he had Tim Heidecker on. Oh, I haven't heard that one. And I, I that I it's really neat. It's one of the few things I've ever heard where Tim Heidecker isn't just totally fucking with the person interviewing Right, when he's them. straight with someone. That's cool, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey, that one was good just for the fact that he confirmed what I always thought, that that's his voice in the rated M for Mature. What? In the ESRB, yeah, that's him. That's always sounded like him to me. And I remember once, back when they were doing Tom Goes to the Mayor, they asked like, what were you doing before this? And he said, I think even when we were like at their studio, they yeah. talked about, we were talking about video games and he said, yeah, I worked for the ESRB. Huh. And I remember thinking, well, that's gotta be him doing the voices then. But uh, he, he confirmed it on the thing. Huh. That's, That's always cool. sounded like it. Rated T for teen. Hmm. That's so cool. I had no idea. Yeah. I really had no idea. He clue. did that when he was like a kid. Um, I really like that. I like his show too. I have, The second season I'm really excited for. Mm -hmm. of, I need to finish. Uh, Marin. Oh, yeah. Mark, Mark Marin. I need to finish this, the first season. It's very good. I, I his, really like his it. His book's really good. I like Mark Marin a lot. I think he's very interesting. I think uh, I said this to you once. I think Mark Maron hits the spot on everybody's <coughs> insecurities and it describes it so perfectly yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. No. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I like about it too. But uh, my question is actually for Kevin. I was wondering what is the origins of Kevin's cookies? How did you get into baking and stuff? I'm so sick. Yeah, <laughs> um, I was signed up at like I think eight years old for a baking class or something, some extracurricular thing over the summer, and I did not want to do it whatsoever. I, I, I fought it, I never wanted to go, <coughs> and I finally, they were like, oh, you're going. And so I went, and uh, I've, been, I've been baking ever since. That's good you went, though, because that's <laughs> yeah. like a good, yeah. you know, you're just holy uh, shit, Kevin's cookies. Yeah. And uh, so I started, Let's make some now, like, getting cookbooks and learning how to do other things, I still mostly just do desserts, but uh, yeah. So now I, I bake all the time. Not all the time, but whenever I feel like it. Hell yeah. Can't. Cook, cooking is a fun thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I I love cooking. I like to, f what I like about it, like why I like grilling and everything, is that it's a task to focus on and do well. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes I run into it where it's like, I'm trying to do it with other people, not even do it with other people, but there are other people there, like when I'm having a barbecue and stuff. And it's trying to like, juggle it all and make sure it's still done well and it's like stressful but it's a nice stressful where it's done and you go here are the fruits of my labor yeah. it, it's like anytime you do like a production or anything yeah like having that. something to show for it mm -hmm. that you're proud of when it's done i made carne asada the other day just on a whim we mm -hmm. went to uh albertson's has benny's carne asada again Hell super yeah. stoked cool. and uh made carne asada the other day and it was Damn, like uh, it was so good yeah you know what gear is talking about maybe trying to do a uh, barbecue uh, when we get back from all these conventions, like, yeah. like a weekend or two out. Yeah, that'd be awesome. On on uh, on Friday, mm -hmm. my dad and I were like, "What do we eat?" Like, I don't really want to go out. Can't really think of anything. And we just went, "Well, what can we do in like ten minutes?" Mm -hmm. Steak. Drove out to Albertsons, got yeah. a London broil, got a New York strip, bone in, and then just seasoned it with a little bit of dry rub. Turned out so fucking good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, always get, I always get nervous with bigger cuts of meat. Yeah, because. Um, yeah. I always err on the side of caution, so I feel like my steaks, my thick cut meats, mm -hmm. are always really dry. Mm. And because I always, I'm Gotta afraid that they're gonna be too bloody. Yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know. But I like it bloody, I, but I, I don't feel confident like, doing it. I know yeah. it's supposed to be like rare, medium rare, like medium, well done. Yeah. Like all that. Yeah. Like you, you like touch these different points on your arm or something, or like on your hand. But I, I still, I don't like rare, medium rare steaks. I don't. 
Mm. I do, I but it. I don't feel confident delivering that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I, yep. Oh, I like I'm, I'm in a restaurant, give me that, but I can't I that. will not make that for you. Yeah. That, I don't feel good about I, it. I made the medium for the for the thicker one just because I <clears> wanted to make sure. <throat> yeah. Because I have undercooked a steak and I I've eaten raw meat, so it does not matter. No, yet. no, it doesn't, but I don't like eating undercooked meat. Sure. Yeah. I just don't like yeah, it. That's, that's, that's the thing, there's that fine line, because I'll eat raw meat. I don't like undercooked steak, mm -hmm. and and I did that before, and you can't go back once -uh. you take it off yep. the grill. It's done. Yeah. It's done. So I just ate the entire thing, but um, it's fine. Like, I, but oh, still, you learn trial and error, yeah, and that's what I think uh, is the best part about cooking. I've uh, just started barbecuing. Yeah, because I feel like all dads need to learn how to barbecue. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I feel the opposite. None of them should ever barbecue. <laughs> and that's so uh, the end. I've been practicing it myself, and so I do a lot of burgers. Love you know. Just, just like that, whatever, but steaks. Yeah, have you guys done like how you can tell? If it's, it's supposed yeah. to be you touch you touch your arm. Two fingers I don't know about your arm. This. So if it's like this right here, if uh -huh. your hand starts, that's well done. Mm -hmm. Two fingers up, that's right here. Feel like that? It's medium rare, and uh -huh. then and it's medium, and rare. then it's medium. Mm -hmm. And so like, huh. if you touch it, touch the steak, and then touch your arm at that point, and you'll know how, what, how where you, it's at. What do you? What do you? Uh, in what that's way? How it you, you feels. Do, how, it, yeah, because well done steak the is tough. It's, it's, yeah. it's tougher. Oh, so you you're like saying that. how you it feel, feels. You feel, got it. So you feel that. You interesting. Know, well, it's about the same as, as like right here. So right, that's probably like a oh, medium. interesting. The, okay. The the one that I use is the one where you use the uh, the fatty part of your palm, mm -hmm. and I think I don't know what the what the classes are, but I think this is rare. Yeah. This is medium rare. That's medium, yeah. medium well, and well done. So the Same more your thing, finger yeah. goes, oh, wow. the more tight, because you're flexing it. Yeah. Yeah. So I tend to cook my steaks about here, which is medium saying. rare. Um, and I had them medium. So it still got a little bit of give. Huh. And you want to poke in the middle of the steak, because yeah. of course the edges, edges are going to be more done. I don't mind cooking uh, beef, but when I cook chicken, I get super paranoid. I am less no. paranoid about chicken now. Really? really? I right. am, yeah. I'm scared of death. It, yeah. it is because, you know who taught me? Hmm. Brian's dad. Mm -hmm. uh, if the, if when roll? if when you poke it mm -hmm. and everything or like you open it if there's any pink yeah it's not done right when there's no more pink right when there's no more like when the juices are clear your chicken's done yeah yeah that oh, that's okay. it and chicken the thing that people don't understand about chicken is you can't it, cook it on high like you do a steak mm -hmm. you have to drop it to below medium and it's gonna take longer yep. which is why we didn't cook chicken. Because it's gonna take at yeah, least you're, you're waiting a while. 30, 40 minutes if, to cook a chicken. And then a lot of people forget, especially with bigger cuts of meat and everything, mm -hmm. when you take it off the grill, you need to like let it sit, sit. to keep, I can hear myself when I say okay. that. Uh, <laughs> you, you need to let it sit and then uh, it keeps all the juices locked mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. but it's gonna keep cooking. It keeps cooking, yeah. Mm -hmm. So pull it off so you always a little to, early. Yeah, yeah, you always, you always have to remember that. Cooking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, um, I, I really recommend that with burgers. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely with pull, burgers. Pull them off, and then I cover them with foil. Mm -hmm. A little bit of foil, and just let them sit for three or four minutes. Yeah. I know that's the longest three or four minutes you've ever mm -hmm. fucking had. Sure. It's but awful. Yeah, let it sit for just a little bit. Uh, I, I've also been marinating <laughs> my back. burgers for a long time. Yeah. Uh, I marinate steak a lot, but then I was like, I'll try the same marinade with burgers, and man. Mm -hmm. been like it doesn't make the burgers too thin and like fall apart? Not at all, no. Oh, cool. You know what helps? Crack an egg in it. Mm-hmm. I don't like eggs. You don't taste the egg. It's to keep it together. Oh, but it doesn't fall apart. No, no, no. When you, I'm sorry, do you mix your burger meat? Do you mix the raw meat? No, these patties have already been pre-made. Oh, uh, uh, whenever I make burgers, I get... Oh, I, I get, a, I get a, a, I, like a bunch of ground beef yeah, and, yeah. and I'll, form I'll, burgers with sure. all my shit. I'll walk up to the deli or to the uh, butcher's counter with the yeah. chuck that I chose, sure, yeah. sure. and I'm like, grind this, and then when I take it home, I'll do, um, if I feel like it's too loose, oh, put egg in then egg. I crack an egg yeah. into it, because sometimes, because I like to add a lot of like juicy stuff, like yeah. a little bit of steak sauce, I'll do yes, at do. least a shot of that too, yeah. of, uh, of a beer, and then, or a whiskey, depending mm -hmm. on what I want, and I always do at least a shot of espresso, to give it a kind of like a uh, deeper coffee flavor. Yep. Interesting. I, uh, I, uh, don't go that far with it. But my grandparents asked, like, hey, do you want a, a whole shipment of meat? Yes. And I was like, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. No, I said, yeah. And so they, the next day I had something, it was like a cooler delivered to my house from Omaha Steaks. And yeah. it, inside was like 20 hamburger patties, like four steaks, like eight hot dogs, chicken breasts. Hell yeah. Little baked potatoes and something else. Like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I've just been going off that for like, the longest time because nice. it's frozen. So have, just... have you cooked the chicken or are you afraid to still? No, I hit the chicken. Okay, good. But uh, I didn't grill it. I just put that in the oven. 
Yeah, um, that's always good. My reservation with chicken just comes from I've uh, I don't I don't cook a lot, but almost any time that chicken was in play <laughs> at Korean barbecue, someone was sick. Yeah, it's like inevitably well, yeah. that happens. And nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. But but uh, I was gonna say real quick, my dad is really good at grilling stuff, and he uh, I was over there yesterday, the day before, mm. and he told me, hey, should stick around for dinner. I'm like, yeah, and he goes, yeah, I'm going nuts here. I was like, yeah, and he's <laughs> like. Uh, he's done all kinds of different marinades, yeah. and like things like that, that are so good, out of out of weird concoctions. Mm-hmm. And I think he he did one at one point with Dr Pepper. Ooh, oh, it was good. really Ooh, good. That's good. The sugar and it stuff, like caramelizes. Sugar. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like brown and sugar. so he said, I got a re- there's someone at work that gave me a different recipe, and I think I know how to make this really good. And you're gonna laugh at me when I tell you what it is. And I'm like, what? And he's like, I'm gonna do a same kind of thing, but with a few different things mixed in and Mountain Dew. Ooh, I was like, what? Why? Really? Hey, and he's like, good. yeah, and he's like, yeah, but this caramelizes in such a way that it's a really unique taste. Mm. I'm going to try that. And I was like, okay, stick that out. And uh, it was not good. Nobody liked it. <laughs> really? <laughs> he, this was my dad eating it. I feel so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, yeah, this guy told me how good the Mountain Dew thing would be. <laughs> I got lucky with Dr. Pepper. Why did I think fucking Mountain Dew would make yeah, us yeah, good? This awful. is so stupid. That's fucking. I apologize. Crazy. This is so dumb. And it, it was the funniest thing. It became hilarious. But that's, anyway, that's it was still edible. Yeah, but I, I hate I hate when I fuck up like cooking food. Yeah, and that's like I feel like so but but, but, but there's an me, if it's just me, whatever. Oh yeah, I don't give a fuck. Right, but there's me. an added there's an added like letdown as a father. Yeah, yeah. right. Because oh, I know my dad. It's like my dad doesn't need to impress me or my brother. Like that. Why that is out the door. But you could still tell he had that guilt of like I failed, ah, I, my, fucked up. Yeah. I failed my family. Yep, that that happens to me and Eric. Because sometimes we'll be like, "Hey, let's try to cook this," and there have been times where we'll like, "Hey, let's cover these bacon strips in brown sugar." That's so good. And yeah. put that in the oven. Yeah, yeah. It is the worst thing for you. Oh, it's so it fucking so good. We like we didn't know it was gonna candy the bacon. And it was fucking oh incredible. That's, so good. That's. Yeah. That's bacon for me since I was a little kid. Really? I, really? I never, I, we never had that. Like one day like, we just did it. Yeah. I don't like skilleted crispy bacon. No, it's, no, all, it's all always bad. in the oven. Always yeah. in the oven. Oven brown sugar. And 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 then there was another time when we were. What did we try to make and we completely okay. like fucked up? I feel like we tried to do like a uh, a burger or a steak or something once, and we we're like, oh yeah, yeah, let's throw like this kind of cheese in it. We did were, did I, we try to do like a stuffed burger? I think we did. Yeah, and it just like. The second it, fucked it, up, it, it's it like, grilled ah. just fine, and then it just you bit into it, and it just completely yeah. fell apart. Yeah, it's like oh well. Yeah, I'm uh, still learning. I'm not great yet, but uh, I, I, yeah, I, I love grilling. I it's like good. the idea of cooking, but any time I've done it, I've fucked up so bad that I. That's why I don't do it that much. I know if I did it more, I'd get better at it, but I just have never hit that. I'm just too like klutzy to do to like make shit. You know what's hard, and I never really gave my dad credit for it was when you're making dinner, grilling, whatever. It's like there's a challenge to it, but you can figure it out. But getting everything like the rice and the bread and the vegetables all timed at the same time—that's the real skill. Hell yeah. Yep. And he like mastered that, and that's tough. It's tough thing to do. A a good way to cheat that: put it in the oven at 150 degrees. Put anything in the oven? Like the things that wouldn't dry out, like. Obviously, yeah. you want to cook the meat last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like mashed potatoes. Sure. Oven for yeah, just keep it as warm. long. Yeah, just to keep it, it hot. Stay. At my dad. Yeah, the biggest at, hanging thing. At my. <laughs> stay. Stay. At my dad's stay. house. Good boy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, he took all the hairs of my leg. Eric's a hypocrite. If you did that to him, he'd leave. He would. Uh, he'd storm out. Uh, the, he has like these like drawers in his house, and the bottom one is just a uh, it's just a heating drawer for that reason. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. which is fucking rad. Yeah, it's it's smart just to keep things like you don't leave shit in there, but like oh you know the meat will be done in ten minutes and this thing's already done, yeah. so you just wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you know a lot of times I'll have like I finished the broccoli and it's like five minutes later I'll have it like, on a simmer, so it's like it's keeping it warm, mm-hmm. but it's not like what I also do is uh, I like making broccoli a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm also really lazy. And so they have like those bags of frozen broccoli, and mm-hmm. so I'm like, oh, I'll just make that. And there's there's some that you can like steam in the microwave, and you like whatever. I take those bags and I open them up, and I just cook those on the oven. But it's already That's frozen. Good. Huh. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, steam in the microwave in the bag. No. I'm like, oh cool. Oh, no. I don't want cancer. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the corn I've done with corn. It yeah. doesn't taste so bad with corn. You can like an actual corn. 
Like, no. Have like, you ever like, cooked corn in the microwave? No. Because basically, whenever you boil corn, you're, I mean, yeah, it's what you thing, do yeah. in the microwave. So I used to do that when I just wanted, like, you know what? I have done that. Wave a paper towel over it. Mm -hmm. I've done that. Yeah. Wave a paper towel in um, the microwave. Uh, my thing that I add to everything is garlic salt. I add garlic salt to oh, yeah. everything. Yeah. That's awesome. the best. Um, yeah. You should probably just hang up on it. Oh, it's not still hot. <laughs> oh, spaghetti oh, Jake. Oh, 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 spaghetti I'm Jake. Is that, that's, that's, why, that's, why that's why he makes cookies. Cookies. all of Great that. cooking talk. I'm getting... And sea salt. Thank you. The thank sea you. salt that, is really it's, brilliant. It's really brilliant. And, you know, um, you always want to have glovey nearby. Thank you. Love it. Don't bake with sea salt. Don't. No? No? You need... Sea salt is saltier than regular salt. You'll, oh, you'll yeah. make Your cookies will be way too salty. Oh, yeah. I only sprinkle sea salt on this cookie. Oh, a uh, just you a sprinkle, dash. Just not to bake. Nice. Yep. Because if you put too much, you've had it. <laughs> Jenny right. makes the best brownies ever, but she can't have chocolate. Oh, so yeah. it's like a curse for her. So she's made me with some birthday brownies a little late, but she has made them for me today. And like, I've already eaten like, half the pan, but oh, it's shit. just like, they're so good, and she can't. It's like, who's a deaf musician? Mozart would say he's a deaf one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like that. He doesn't know how good it is, but it's really good. Good job. <laughs> All right. Wait, dad Great. joke. Uh, I think Macklemore is deaf because that's why he makes that music. <laughs> my, my dad doesn't know who Macklemore is. My dad doesn't know who he is either. Good. My, uh, my dad's got an iPhone, which is, hey, <laughs> hell yeah, dad. Whoa. I was so, I was ready for this day for a long time. So, what the fuck? way to go, dad. <laughs> Luke kept trying to convince him to get a droid. Of, of, of course. course. Of course. My oh, brother course. is so anti Apple that it's gone to the point where he, he's just insane. I don't get it. Yeah. We this is a true story and it just shows you how fucking weird my brother is and how crazy he is. I don't know if you do. We're walking through uh, yep. uh, Fashion Valley mm -hmm. and uh, there's the Apple store and then there's the Microsoft yep. store. I know the story. We walk past the Microsoft store, no one's in there. Walk past the Apple store, it's full. Mm -hmm. It's full. And Luke goes, I wonder how much Apple pays people to be here to make it look busy. Are you serious? And I, I asked him, are you joking? And he said, no, because I'm sure that's how they do that. So many people want to go in the store. You're so fucking crazy. Yeah. Are hey, you a fucking loon? Ask Dominic that question. Well, yeah. fucking Dominic kidding. deals Luke, with all the people that are That's in there. the dumbest fucking thing. Yeah Apple, yeah, Apple also pays people to buy their products. And that's why they have so much money, because they pay people they to do. buy their products. It's so fucking stupid. Stupid. He's so against Apple for no reason. Yeah, I, I don't understand being anti anything like that. Like, like, yeah. pick the product that is best suited to your needs. But I don't understand. No, I just won't buy from that company. Apple hasn't. Apple's like the one giant company that hasn't like killed somebody yeah. or done something weird. You know it, what I mean? It's the weirdest thing. How he just like will jump on a bandwagon and he will ride that forever. And He'll Apple is evil. Apple sucks. Fuck Apple. And, and the other thing I always hear from anti-Apple people, well, they, yeah, they sue everyone. Yep. None of the other companies you patronize have ever sued anybody. Yeah. I mean... It doesn't happen. Jesus. No, not at all. Jesus, Jesus. There's never been... That's why I like Target. Never been a lawsuit. <laughs> Video James. Yeah, they're like the same phone, so... Because they are. Hey, what do you do on your Droid? Go on Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Tumblr. <laughs> what do you do on your iPhone? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, yeah, Tumblr. It, do, get what you want. I don't know. Yeah, but it's basically just, I was like, oh cool, I can FaceTime my dad now. Or I can send iMessages or whatever. Yeah, the only, the only reason I want, like, people, hey, get an iPhone, yeah. is selfish reasons. I want, when you fucking I, message me, I want hey, blue. I want it to yeah. be blue. Damn it. You know what's funny <laughs> is, my Luke told him to get a droid. I told him to get an iPhone. Yeah. But then I also said, but you can FaceTime with Sawyer. If you get an iPhone, and then you got the iPhone, so yeah, fuck you, Luke. I win. Because you can't just drive over to. I've never FaceTime Sawyer. Face yeah, Sawyer either. knows yeah, how to FaceTime. What's yeah, no, yeah, what's <laughs> yeah? What's her Apple ID? I have a picture of me FaceTime Sawyer. Sawyer. It's my favorite pictures of all time. Is it Sawyer chat? It's a mash of the keyboard. It, it, no, it's, it's Sawyer. Forget it. Whatever. <laughs> it's me smiling and going like this to the camera. No, you just said forget it. That's awesome. It's great. Thank then that's why Kevin makes cookies. That's why Kevin makes cookies. Spaghetti. Well, thank yep. you, number one. Oh, I don't know what it was. Number one, number one dad, thank number you. One. Number one, dad. Thank Sean. you so much. Number Sean. one, stunner. What, 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 Sean what? Sean chat. Chatfield. Um, that's a reference you didn't expect tonight. Thank nope. you. Hot boys. All right. 